welcome back or if this happens to be your first time visiting welcome my name is Lisa thank you so much for being here today I wanted to come on and share with you guys just a few things that I happen to purchase just did a little bit of quarantine shopping something I said I wasn't gonna do I was really trying to hold out not let the stress of this whole quarantine thing get to me and the stress of work and all that other stuff but two things just kind of caught my eye I just decided I was just going to reward myself so they're nothing really big I just wanted to come on and share them with you I was just going to share them with Instagram but when I saw one of the packages it was just so pretty that I wanted to share it with my YouTube family if you follow me on Instagram especially in my Instagram stories <laughs> you probably already know what these two items are so I'm just gonna open them really quick not gonna do a whole bunch of unboxings I do have this box right here and I think I'm gonna open this one first it was just so pretty that yeah I just had to share it with you guys this is the one from Dior Look how gorgeous the packaging is I mean Dior really hits it out of the park when it comes to their presentation and their packaging I mean I mean look at that Honestly, I think Dior is probably my favorite presentation or packaging. Actually, Chanel is up there too. I love the black and white, the camellia, the ribbon, all that. So Dior and Chanel definitely have my heart as far as packaging. Of course, it comes with this envelope right here, which has your receipt and all that stuff. It also came with a shopping bag it looks like here at the bottom i'm just going to show you the packaging show you how gorgeous it is i was just going to open the box but then when i saw this i was like oh my god it's so pretty <laughs> i've had it probably about two weeks i <laughs> finally opened the outer box and then when i saw the inner one i'm like oh my god i don't even want to open it it's so nicely wrapped and everything I don't know. does anybody else get like that I know some people do there's a shopping bag they sent me also how pretty with the gold and white look how gorgeous they wrap this box like I love it I love the star I love stars something about the shape of stars it's one of my favorite shapes I don't know if I ever told you guys that and it's gold it's a gold star I'm just in love so it so. has the nice white ribbon with the gold I freaking love it <laughs> I could just take it off like this oh there goes a pretty ribbon but anyway so these I don't know what came over me to get these I think I just happened to be on the Dior website or maybe I saw a picture of something similar on Instagram I really can't remember right now but I totally didn't need these and I just saw them I fell in love with them there's actually multiple ones that I fell in love with here is a dust bag and uh, you get two dust bags absolutely beautiful with the gold Dior on them Ooh, so gorgeous wow look at that I just thought they were so pretty look at that wow they're so gorgeous in person so there they are I love it these as you can see have the pretty floral foot bed Let's see if I can take out all of the stuffing here and there you go my only problem is these were mostly all sold out on the website they did have my size which is a size 37 or 7 however I asked some people who actually had these shoes and they said you kind of have to size up a half size so I honestly don't know if they're gonna fit they didn't have a 37 and a half so I just went with the 37. We will try my luck so they may or may not fit. I do have more narrow feet so 
a lot of people said that this part right here they went up a half a size because this part right here is pretty tight it doesn't really give you any give yeah it is kind of stiff right here to be honest with you so I don't know we'll see but I was just gonna keep my fingers crossed since I do have narrow feet that they may fit anyway look how pretty they are they are pink and black each year they kind of come out with some of these with this different type of footbed so these kind of have this floral footbed I honestly was not really sure if I really like them like this just because I thought it was kind of too busy but I was like well my feet will be in them so you won't really see all that anyway but actually I do really like them they really are gorgeous in person with the whole footbed the pink and the black and I love them <laughs> I do actually want a pair of these in the black and white they do come in the normal oblique blue like navy blue and white but I really wanted black because black is classic and will go with anything obviously but of course they're all sold out so I just keep kind of checking and I'm gonna stick them on my feet let's pray <laughs> let's see if they fit wow I I'm good <laughs> they actually fit like they're not too tight they are not too short as in my foot is not hanging off I will show you guys a picture of me wearing them somewhere in this video or at the end of the video or something but they are perfect wow I'm so impressed I was really really scared but yeah they're perfect so my recommendation as far as the sizing is that if you have feet that are more on the more narrow side like myself you can get away with your regular sizing so I would just go with whatever your regular size is. Like I said, I normally wear a seven or a 37 in European sizes. So that's what I got. It's not too short. It's not too tight here. But if you have feet that are more on the wider side, then I would go with a least a half a size up. And that's what some of my friends who have this same shoe actually told me that they did because this part right here is pretty stiff it does have a piece of leather backing here I don't know if you can see that like right here on the inside so it is pretty stiff like it doesn't have a lot of give here because this fabric is really binding to it so yes, if you have wider feet, I would definitely go a half a size up, but these fit me perfectly and I love them. So let me just show them to you a little bit closer up. It has the Christian Dior here in gold, the pretty flowers, and it's pink and black. They have all different types and combinations of colors. There was another pair with a rose gold footbed that I fell in love with that I almost was gonna get along with these but I was like no that's just too similar because the this part is pink also but or at least you don't need those <sighs> you guys just help me but anyway luckily I think those were sold out <laughs> on the Dior website and believe it or not I did actually order some other ones but I'll show those to you guys later whenever I get them uh yeah <laughs> i was a little scared i don't know what made me buy these i just got them on a whim and i am in love with them i can't wait to wear them whenever i can go out and go somewhere <laughs> but anyway yeah we're supposed to be on lockdown here in la for another three months all the way until everything opens up they were 750 dollars plus tax I love them yes I know they're kind of extra but you know your girl has to be just a little bit extra so yes I'm in love and I'm happy that I got them so as you can see it's flat maybe not a whole lot of support I'm not sure 
maybe I'll have to come back on and share with you guys my thoughts, do a little review, let you guys know how they wear, the comfort factor, and all that other stuff. So maybe look out for that at some point in a future video. Let me just share with you a few more quick little details of the shoe. As you can see, it says Christian Dior. This is all fabric. The inside part at the top here is leather. The footbed, I believe, is all leather and it wraps around like so on the sides. It has this gorgeous print here. It's gold here with Christian Dior. And also the sole is leather and you get your sizing here i love the little star it says dior your sizing 37 and it says made in italy i believe yes made in italy it also has this security tag on it attached to one of the shoes and on this tag it says we invite you to try this item at your convenience taking care to retain its label in case of return, please note that it can only be accepted in its original condition with the labels attached with our sincere thanks, the House of Dior. So, if you cut this baby off, it is yours to keep. You cannot return it. I always honestly have a little bit of, well, a lot of bit of hesitation about white shoes or things that are white, especially on the ground because I don't like my shoes looking all dirty. So I am definitely going to scotch guard this fabric part. And it looks easy enough to clean off. I thought, like I said, it was gonna be too busy, but I really actually really like them. It just goes really well with the shoe when you see it in person. So like I said, when I try this on my foot right now, it actually feels perfect. It doesn't feel too tight. It doesn't feel too loose. It literally feels perfect on my foot. My foot's not hanging off. It's the perfect length of my foot. But I can see how other people would feel like if you have a wider foot, you definitely need more room up here and you would definitely have to size up. But like I said, since I have more narrow feet, I believe if I got a half size larger, my foot would literally be swimming around in here. So for me, my actual real size works perfectly fine. Okay, here are the shoes on my feet. As you can see, the length is perfectly fine. So my heel is not over the back of my foot, so it's perfect length here they are in the front here they are to the side there they are in the back I can still get my finger here at the top so for me they're not too tight here even when I walk, they don't feel all that tight. So if you can see, I still can put my finger here. So there's plenty of room for me. But like I said, I have more narrow feet. And if you're a person with wider feet, that may not work for you. So here they are from the top. As you can see, my foot stops here so they're not too short my foot definitely has enough room on the back we don't do our feet hanging over the back and in the front they are fine they don't slide over the front of the shoe because we don't do our toes hanging off the top of the shoe either we don't do that said my feet are more on the narrow side so I can put my finger in here and if I had gotten them a half size larger they would be probably a little bit too long which I guess that wouldn't be so bad but they would for me be too loose right here because they're already kind of 
loose right there. I almost feel like I need to put like some type of pad or something in there just to keep them from sliding around. If that makes any sense. And I can see myself getting them in more colors. I could actually potentially see myself putting like some type of soft padding right here because this I can see where people are talking about doesn't really have a lot of give so when your feet kind of go like this it does kind of hurt your foot a little bit and I don't know if that's just because it's new if it'll loosen up a little bit but I'll have to come back and update you guys but yeah probably put like some type of little padding that I have here and maybe I'll do that on a different video and let you guys know further updates like a full review of them all right so let's get into this box I already opened it so we don't have to go through all that and we got a little Louis Vuitton a little box just a little box and oh there's something else in here let's just see what this is I don't know <laughs> I have no idea oh, they are perfume samples so that is nice thank you so much all right so this item I didn't need either but I saw it on the website and if you follow me like I said on my Instagram stories you most likely already know what it is and I kept saying don't get it you don't need it <sighs> but anyway I just couldn't resist and when I show you guys you guys will most likely know why all right so let's just open that so there's my receipt in there and I got some more nice perfume samples so the story goes behind this like I said not supposed to be buying it but I saw this on the Louis Vuitton website and yeah Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely fabulous. I am in love. Okay, let me just inspect it really quick since I didn't get to see it in person. You guys know I like to buy my stuff in the store so I can inspect it and see if there's any problems or flaws or scratches on it. But anyway, the story behind this is I was just up one night, saw this on the Louis Vuitton website said no girl you don't need that you're not supposed to be buying stuff plus you guys know I bought this one for my birthday this one in the monogram eclipse print which I absolutely love so yeah when I saw this one in this color and if you followed me for a while you guys know that this light blue color is my favorite color so I was just immediately attracted to it but trying to be sensible and like no at least you already have this one you don't need another one but I just couldn't get it off my mind anyway it was all sold out on the website but I happened to do a little further research and noticed that they happen to have some locally here in some of the Los Angeles stores it said it had limited stock so I had to get on the phone and do a little texting to some essays and lo and behold they answered and said yes we have one left in the store it was just meant to be so it was just fate so I just couldn't leave it there right I just had to buy it <laughs> anyway yes they had one left it was just at least in my mind it was meant to be just for me and she was nice enough to ship it out to me it took a little while but hey I got it and I was so excited I don't even know the official name of this but I'm gonna show you guys the card so 
So this is called the Louis Vuitton coin card holder and I love this thing. It's so functional. This is actually one of my favorite most useful and functional pieces so I'm really happy that I actually got this and now it's in this gorgeous light blue color. As you can see it has light blue and then it has a little bit darker in this monogram eclipse print but in a gorgeous light blue color and it has three card slots and also another one here that you can put things in I love it because it has the zipper and you can put things in it along with another pocket here that you can put things in so just like this one this one has all my junk in it that I've been using I have my license there this picture is so old it still has me with long hair like years and years ago I don't know why they keep using the same picture but whatever so I have all my card slots in it all these receipts or papers I have to go through here take it out you can put coins in here and money and yes I just love this thing it's so functional I love it one of my favorite pieces okay, so, so happy that now I have another one in this color and it's just absolutely gorgeous i'm so happy that i got them there they are side by side it's a little bit larger than your regular coin card holder and there's the other side in the comparison so love it so happy that i got them but anyway these are my two quarantine shopping pieces and i am so in love thank you guys so much for just letting me share with you guys i really appreciate it but to be honest with you i think i am totally addicted and totally in love with these so you honestly might see a few more pop up at some point <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have all stayed safe and sane during this whole crazy thing yes it's crazy but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it if you happen to like these videos i would love it if you would please subscribe to my channel and become part of my youtube family here thanks again for watching have an amazing day and an amazing week you guys and i will see you guys soon on my next video Bye.